going on YouTube got another video going on here as you can see I've got it all laid out this is going to be my new fish tank so I've got my plywood all cut um, yes of course this is gonna sit directly on the ground that's why that drop cloth right there is uh, there that's gonna be underneath uh, to protect uh, the bottom is just temporary uh, solution for now I'm gonna actually make this a lot better probably put like a thick tarp underneath there uh, at least like uh, probably three mil right there that's uh, that drop cloth there is just 0 0.7 mil but uh, that'll work for right now uh, like I said just temporary and uh, later I'll get a thicker one under there um, but for right now that's the plan I've got my uh, uh, drop cloth there that's gonna go on the ground I've got my main uh, piece of the plywood there as you can see all four sides and my 2 by 4 is all cut but uh, that's all I've got with this so far so I'm gonna start putting this thing together and let's see what it looks like when I'm done alrighty now we've got the uh, base done it's upside down right now as you can see put the uh, drop cloth on there stapled it on hopefully it'll stay on when I maneuver it into place but for right now it's where it should be uh, it's doubled up on this side over here as you can see you can see that line right there uh, it's quadrupled up on over on this whole section so uh, this should be uh, at least a good temporary solution for this so it can at least uh, start working and all I need to do is flip it over start working on those sides get them in there and throw the liner right there into it and we got a fish tank let's get to it all right a little bit time later and we've got some water going in there as you can see just starting to fill it need to uh, go ahead and even up the whole sides and everything but as you can see so far not too bad so uh, all I gotta do now is get this thing filled get the pump back in there and fire it back up and uh, should have a brand new fish tank going I had to remove the legs just to get the bed in there um, but pretty much you can see I've got uh, two by four on the top two by four on the bottom as a nice brace they're all interconnected that way it's uh, structurally hopefully that'll all hold up uh, later on I'm probably gonna go ahead and put a uh, two by four right here up and down or maybe uh, just one long one across the side just for uh, additional support for the water uh, I'm gonna wait and see if it bows or anything I don't think it'll bow but I think I'm gonna add a little bit of extra support just for the heck of it but here we go so all I gotta do now is straighten up this liner and uh, pretty much we've got a fish tank going can't wait to get the fish in there got a dozen goldfish that are about to go in there any time now and I'm gonna go grab them right now throw them in there so they can that uh, get acclimated to the water and uh, all I need after this is to add my pumps and turn it back on and we've got this sucker going so I just want to get some footage before it got too dark so go ahead and get out of here straighten this liner up and make sure everything looks pretty alrighty and now here we are early morning this thing's been sitting all night it's been holding water most important part um, everything appears to be pretty good for an aerating uh, line in there so we got a little bit of bubble action going on and uh, pretty much it's ready to go so all I need now I checked the uh, I had to fill it with uh, tap water of course and whenever I checked the uh, water quality pH alkalinity everything looks to be about right and the chlorine has already been dissipated so pretty much um, <laughs> I'm kind of hoping these plants didn't uh, take up all that chlorine but uh, hopefully it just uh, dissipated right into the air but it looks like we're ready for some fish one other thing I wanted to mention about how I put this liner in as you can see I've got these two by fours here that are holding down the liner. Another uh, one right there, another one right there. Uh, the way I did that, I didn't get to show this because it was getting late while I was doing it. I centered the liner in here and I turned the hose on and just pretty much let this thing fill up. Once it was about to the level that it is right now, that's when I went ahead and secured it with the two by fours there. Um, I wasn't about to try and be stupid about it 
and do that while it was filling and then put all the weight of the water on the side of the liner. As you can see right here, there's not tension on the liner at all. It actually has all kind of play, like right here. You can actually move the liner a little bit, but uh, I didn't try to force it or anything like that and didn't try to make it rip. I waited until it was completely full and then I pulled the liner over the top there, uh, pulled it down a little bit secure and went ahead and screwed in the 2x4s. I was going to do one long 2x4, but to be perfectly honest, all I really need is just something to hold on to the liner a little bit. It's not like the liner needs to be held down or anything. So there's a little tip in case you're making your own. So now I got a nice big tank here. Shouldn't have any issues with that. So all I gotta do is throw some fish in here and we are ready to roll. So, all right, well, let's get this thing rolling. Till next time, later.